Welcome back to the Kiriakon Garage. On this episode, it's all about performance. On this 2010 Street Glide, we're going to install Kiriakon's new Perfect Storm system, which is a combination of high performance air filter, true dual exhaust, and the Master Tune by TTS. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to install is going to be the exhaust, because we've already installed the Mach 2 air cleaner on the bike. So let's get that stock exhaust off. Okay, now I've already got the muffler off, and I've got the nuts out of the heads, so I can pull the header pipe right off. Okay, now the first thing we gotta do before we can install the new pipes is we gotta install this mounting bracket in the stock location in the back of the oil pan with the stock bolts. Okay, now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna replace this stock mounting bracket with the one supplied in the kit right under the transmission here. Now I've pre-installed the heat shields onto the header pipe here, but before I can install them, I have to reinstall the O2 sensors. Now that I got the O2 sensors screwed in, I can go ahead and install the header pipe. Okay, now once we have the header on and all the nuts and bolts are finger tight, as well as the heat shields, we're gonna go ahead and install this crossover pipe so we can get a muffler on the other side. Now that we have the crossover pipe installed, we can go ahead and start installing the mufflers. Now keep in mind, this 2010 Street Glide came with a two to one system. So for bikes that need true dual exhaust put on, you can get this 560 kit so we can mount two mufflers. Okay, lastly, we're going to install the mufflers, and then we're going to go over the entire system and tighten on all the nuts and bolts and clamps, including the heat shields. Okay, now final piece we're going to install is going to be the power cell cover. Okay, and that's it for the exhaust now. We've got everything tightened up, but before we put the saddlebags and the other side cover on, we've got the tuning part to do. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to tune the bike. We're gonna use the Master Tune by TTS. We've got a special guest, Brian D. from the Kiriakon office, is gonna show us how to do it. All right, so here we have the TTS Master Tune. Now what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna reprogram the factory ECU that's already in the motorcycle. There's nothing that's gonna stay plugged into the bike what this does is this allows our laptop computer here to communicate with the computer that's in the bike. So once we're all done programming it, this will actually come out. Nothing will stay in the bike. We're just changing the program. So let's get started. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do is locate the diagnostics port on the motorcycle. Now on any bike with drive-by wire, like this one, which is a 2010 bike, the diagnostics port is always going to be on the left-hand side. And if it has throttle cables, it's always on the right-hand side and find our diagnostics port, which is right here. And then, we're simply just gonna plug our cable into it, like that. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and load in the new calibration that we've created. So the first thing we're gonna do, turn the key on, and we wanna establish communication with the ECU. So we're gonna hit Get ECM Info. Now we're gonna hit Program ECM Cal. A little window's gonna pop up, says we recommend doing some um, backing up the factory map, we've already did that, so we can just go ahead and hit OK. Now, another window is going to pop up, and this one's pretty important, especially for the guys that ride 110 bikes and 103 bikes that have uh, factory auto decompressor, which is for the startup. So, what's going to pop up is it says ACR solenoid settings. Now, we want to disable it on this bike because this bike does not have it. If you ride a newer 110 or a newer 103, you want to make sure that that box is checked enabled because if it's checked disabled, the bike's going to start harder. So this one's disabled. We're going to go ahead and hit Save and Program. Now, another window comes up, which is the speedometer calibration. 
The TTS Master Tune allows you to change the settings to the speedometer. If you change primary ratios, gear ratios, anything like that, tire size, there's a calculator in here that's going to allow us to do that. We didn't change any of that on this bike, so we're going to go ahead and just hit skip and let this program. So now we're programming the bike. That's it. Once this is done, we're going to turn the bike off, let it sit for 30 seconds, and then we can go ahead and start it up and ride it. That's it.